evening boys and girls welcome back <clears throat> been a few days um i was just like hanging on for this set of weathering washes to come from a uk company uh it's called ultimate weathering wash and it was uh, recommended by one of you lovely viewers and now they're here just uh so we've got mud light dirt dark dirt sand rust and concrete which would be useful on a idea i've got for the a later kit but anyway um so i'm thinking these three are probably the ones i need for this and i've just given the mud one a right good shake and what i've been using is these little glass beads they're like little ball bearings but they're glass so obviously they're not going to rust if they come in contact with air or anything um i've been using them in the vallejo paints and they seem to work well just helps when you're shaking them up um yeah so these come recommended and seen one or two videos of, of people using it and as per the instructions basically shake and stir slop it on all over either with a brush or airbrush let it dry for at least half hour Lightly moisten a ta paper towel, cotton bud or similar. Wipe it off in the direction you want it to, to go. And the excess will stay in the panel lines. So it sounds easy. And the videos seem to back that up. <clears throat> and all I've done is earlier on I gave it a coat of uh, acrylic varnish out of a rattle tin. Uh, so that's like a... Does it say it's gloss or...? just says varnish but yeah as you can see it's sort of it's quite shiny so I'm just going to go for it and I'm going to slop a load of this on um, the light dirt looks a bit grey and then we've got mud which my thinking is it's been flying around over the English countryside over airfields so mud is going to be the the main thing getting slopped all over it We've got dark dirt as well, which again is a bit grey. So I'm going to go for it with the mud. I'm just going to slop it on, go and have a brew, come back and see what it looks like wiping it off. So I'm just going to slop it. I've already given it a good shake. I've got one of those little um, vibrating um, paint stirry things. They just got, but it makes a racket, which is why. I've I'd do it without the camera being on. Uh, is there a star on the side there? So just apply it liberally. It right. doesn't seem to want to go anywhere. Hmm. That's not doing anything. Should I have used mat? Well, that's not doing anything, it's just sitting there. Hmm, okay. I mean, from what I, I read, it'll, it'll go on um, over any kind of varnish. But that's just doing nothing. It's just like water sitting on the surface. Hmm. Okay, let's try another colour. So the light dirt. Try a bit of that. I'll mix that one up as well a minute ago. So give it a go. Um, the only other thing is it's really cold in here. I haven't had the heating on all night, so perhaps that makes a difference. Don't know. Okay, so, oh, so the light dirt when you put it on is a bit browner than it looks in the tub. It looks a bit grey in the tub, but you can probably see it's it's quite it's a greyish brown rather than the the mud colour, which is just brown. So, 
Okay, it's just starting to spread out. That's interesting. The more you put on, the more even it it gets. So when it says apply liberally, it means it just chuck loads on. So um, looking at some people doing their weathering, they they make an absolute art of it. And I'm I want it to look good, but I'm not into using loads and loads of things from loads and loads of companies. Great long process. I want something simple. And um, this sounds like a my cup of tea where you just slap it on, wipe it off and that's kind of it. So looking at the weathering powders and that looks like it could be fun where you just kind of put some sort of um, solvent I suppose in a way so you use uh, like a clear coat to um, make the powder stick or what's the other thing? Decal fix, which sounded weird, but seemed to work. And you mix that with the powder and slop it on. That'd be good for really muddy stuff, where you, you know, like your armoured vehicles with the, the caterpillar tracks. Um, I think for this. What I want is just a general kind of layer of dirt. Okay, so that's, that's settling down a bit now. I'm pleased about that. I thought I was going to have to come up with a whole new idea. But uh, so what I'm doing is randomly using one or the other. Oh, the camera. So that's the mud and that's the... Uh, dark dirt. Interestingly, it's starting to settle. So you need to keep keep it mixed because it's starting to settle in the palette. Okay. Um, and apparently, these are clay. Yeah, it says uh, specially formulated, non-toxic clay-based wash. And the fact it said it was clay-based, and what you're trying to do is make it look like mud. Uh, that wheel's wobbly. Oh dear, I'm going to have to put, put a bit more glue on that. Mm, I'm falling off. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, you're trying to make it look like it's had mud on it. And what's better than actually an organic material? from out your back garden, really. So, uh, it sounds like it should work. Just slopping that on. Okay, I've pretty much covered that side. Uh, so I'm gonna leave that. Okay, I'm gonna walk away for half an hour, and come back and see if I've ruined it. Okay, bye. Okay, so I've given it about an hour and I'm going to go by the instructions and use a slightly damp bit of cloth and see what happens. So I'm wiping it off in the direction you want it to go in. So I'm going to go with gravity because these things didn't go that fast. So you wouldn't have had loads and loads and loads of mud flying up the side. And what did get thrown up would have been sort of washed away by the rain. I suppose. So, 
And, uh, just very gently taking that off. That's not bad. Just leaving a bit round the round the edges there. That's pretty good. Quite pleased with that. <clears throat> so in the wheel there hasn't quite dried. I can still see it's just very slightly wet. Um, this one's not too bad. Uh, I quite like that look in there anyway, so I'm not going to go mad at taking it off. Yeah, it looks right. That little bit there I did on the petrol tank, I'm going to leave that, I think it looks okay. few streaks here, I've just got them a little bit at an angle, just when I'm coming straight down. That's it, I'm happy with that. I think that'll do. Just kind of, I know the light's shining on it because it's still <coughs> glossy underneath. So, uh, not going to go doing it again. I'm going to give it a coat of um, matte varnish. So I did a little bit up here, just on the front. I'm just going to take some of that off. Comes off really easily. In just kind of going in the direction that the rain would have washed it off. Do a little bit on the on the front. I've only done one one panel, so I'm going to have to take some more off in a bit. So I'll put some more on rather, and then take some more off later. But it does come off very easily. So if you make a mistake, yeah, so what? Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of it now and uh, see how it goes. But I think this is probably, certainly given how simple it is, this is gonna be my uh, default way of weathering stuff now. Because like I was saying, some people do amazing stuff with their weathering and good on them but I am not going to be at that level and um, I lost my train of thought then <laughs> I was going to say, you know, some people can do an amazing job and get really into it, and that's just not for me, really. Not to say that, you know, as skills improve, I might decide to try other things. I think I might try the powders at some point. And um, it's going to give using some of the wife's makeup a go as well. When she eventually digs it out for me, I shall try some of it, no doubt. What I could do is try spraying this. But I wonder if I'd just blow it all straight off the kit, because it's so, um, not wanting to stick. But with the air behind it, I think I'd just blow it all straight onto the wall or the floor or the carpet or whatever. It 
the water come off the brush. It sticks to the brush better than it does the kit. Maybe next time I'll try matte varnish or uh, a satin. So anyway, um, wondering about what kit to do next, and I've got one more of these to do: the Gecko Early K2 early in the war K2 variant, which, as I said before, it's basically the same as the famous K2Y. Um, it's just basically two main parts that are different, um, which is these air vents on the early one, they're round instead of square, and the spare wheel cover is slightly different. So it's basically going to be the same build as I did previously, which I didn't didn't put on YouTube. Um, but I'll film the the next one. But I'm wondering what what to do with it because what I wanted to do was to do a civilian like volunteer um, ambulance which I've mentioned before, but that was quite a while ago. Um, the only problem I've got is getting decals. Um, all it needs is a couple of small decals made up, something like that, which have uh, a stars and stripes and a union flag crossing, and then a little bit of writing. That's all I need. But I can't print them myself because the writing, or some of the writing, is in white and I don't have the ability to print white. I've only got a normal printer, so I can't do that. So I'll need to get them made. But I can't find anywhere that makes decals at a reasonable fee. So... Yeah, unless you know someone who can make them. Basically, all I've got is a couple of old photographs of what it looks like. So someone would need to design it as well, you know, transfer it from a photograph into a, something that could be printed. Uh, which is a bit beyond my computer skills. And then um, have a way of printing it so that the the type is it's um, well the colours that be needed are red, white, and blue for the flags, and then red and white for the lettering. So on that sort of scale, there's no way I'll be able to cut out something that small to to use. So unless I can find someone willing to do it for a reasonable fee, I'm going to go for another idea. Um, so the organisation I was interested in was called uh, American Ambulance Great Britain. And it was funded by uh, US citizens. And they supplied vehicles and money for this volunteer outfit, which was staffed by mostly British women. It was based in the UK and it's mostly British women. Um, and very little recognition. No one's ever heard of them. 
Um, but if I can't do that, then apparently what happened after the war was, well, that wheel's gone wonky as well, was these ambulances obviously no longer required for war work. They were given away and they were given to hospitals amongst other places. So I'm thinking of doing a scheme with the name of either a real or made up hospital on the side. And uh, I can just do that myself. I can do it in um, whatever colour I like, because it, it'll be one piece. So I can do that onto white to get, you know, if I want white lettering, I can do that. Um, and then just cut the whole thing out and stick it on. That's straightforward. Um, And my thinking is, you know, it's probably going to change my mind. But I'm thinking what I'll do is keep it simple. Because I've spent months doing these ambulances now. Um, so I'm thinking not bother doing the inside, like the inside of the back. Just have the back door shut and that'll make it a lot quicker and easier. And just build it, doors closed, get the um, the writing on it that I want. Um, I'll probably get a sign to go on the front that just says ambulance or something. Keep it nice and simple, paint it how I want. Uh, and then move on to the next thing, wherever that is. But uh, I was thinking of trying something else before I do that, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just get ambulances out of my system. Um, then what I got, I've actually got an early 1970s American fire truck. Oops, move the camera. Uh, which is from AMT, but was at least for a while sold under the name of Matchbox, at least over here. Uh, and I don't remember seeing it when I was a kid. It was brought out in the early 70s. And I don't remember seeing it anywhere. And it's only in the last sort of year or so that I saw it. And, um, I don't know why, I just fancied it. So, I'm going to have a bash at that fairly soon. It should be fun. Because it's a, it's a make I've never made before. Subject I've never done before. But I think it will look great on the shelf. It, it, the options on it are because you can use all sorts of different colours and names and stuff on it. Um, some of them were yellow, some of them were white. But you can do what you like, can't you? Uh, yeah, and what I want to do with that... I'm thinking it can go up on the shelf behind my desk and it would look really good if it had flashing well red lights I suppose they, in the States they tend to have well they did then anyway they had red lights instead of blue like we have here so some flashing headlights and flashing beacons on the roof would look kind of cool so I need to find the, the right little LEDs and uh, something to control it with. 
and sort of incorporate that into the, the process of building it. That'd be a bit of a challenge. This is dried. Um, yeah, it's going to be really, really late and stuff to do in the morning. So I'm going to leave it there and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Um, so as you can see, I've slots a load more on. That's all dried now. So just gonna do the same again, really. Just a little damp cloth. And just take it all off again. Really is just like putting real dirt on something. Just trying to follow the idea of going the way that gravity would take it. So any streaks would, uh, you know, be a straight line towards the ground. going to leave a little bit around the air vents there just to give that a little bit of interest I suppose don't want it to look too clean um, the only thing with this stuff it comes off a bit too easily so you find that there's very very little left uh, Difficult to know quite how clean this would have been in real life. Um, probably a little bit less than that. Just don't want the decals to be too white. I think that's okay. Once it's had a matte varnish on as well, that'll probably ease it off a little bit, make it look a little bit less uh, less bright. This is it, nearly done now. 
all I'm going to do is once this is uh, done is give it a coat of uh, matte varnish and one thing left to do is stick the mirrors on and that's it I'll call this one done in a minute so uh, thanks uh, for everyone who's uh, been in touch little tips and tricks and little words of encouragement here and there I didn't think it was going to take quite as long as it did but I've got a little bit more into it than I thought I was going to so like I said earlier on the next one if I do the gecko one next which I'm still to make me mind up about. Uh, I think I probably will, just to get the last ambulance out of the way. And I shall attempt to do that as straightforward and easy as I possibly can. And just have it, all the doors shut. Nice and simple. And that'll be, I already decided on the colours for it. <clears throat> but I won't spoil the surprise, I'll tell you when I, when I get going on it. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Sort of mucky, but not too mucky, I think. I'm trying to get the streaks going in the right direction. Just this side to do now. Just being wary. Oh, excuse me. Um, of doing this, getting fingerprints on it because obviously, while it's wet and the, the dirt on my hand, I might leave a fingerprint on there. So, being a bit careful not to touch bits that are still still wet. Yeah, this is uh, definitely, if not one of the best-selling kits of the year, which obviously I, I'm not privy to Airfix's sales numbers. It seems to be one that's had a lot of interest. Um, I suppose, weirdly, that it came out at the same time, pretty much, as the, the Gecko version, so... As a subject, it's been well covered in the last, well, since the middle of 2022. Um, and it's, it's good to see something different, something that you can do different versions of. You know, something different from aviation and naval and tracked vehicles that sort of thing so uh, I'm hoping that Airfix carry on the the idea and do other things I mean there's um you've probably seen announced that they're doing the uh the lorry version of this, so the, basically the cab is pretty similar, and then it's got a flatbed back on it. <clears throat> so that's pre-ordered, and that's something a little bit different. Um, but yeah, hopefully they'll take take notice that. Doing something a bit different is um, 
is going to be popular. Well, I hope it's popular. I hope they did well out of it financially. And that'll encourage them to come up with more stuff. Um, certainly some civilian vehicles would be be nice when they do the, the sort of classic cars which they've done you know forever some of them since they weren't classics um, and that that's great and that's something that a lot of people like but sort of yeah I'm thinking of things like like I said before, you know, like the old London buses and that. But, you know, civilian fire engines or police cars, you know, things that people have an interest in and they're underrepresented. They'd be an interesting subject, I think. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to stop there. going to leave it a bit grubbier than I thought. Um, oh, yeah, I could put the back doors on. Um, actually, I'm going to take a little bit more off the roof, the front bit there. Because just looking at the front and the back, it's a little bit, a little bit much on the front. But, yeah, this weathering stuff, it's... Uh, very, very easy to use. So I'm a fan. So, uh, yeah, thanks again for the tip. trying to get the marks out where it hasn't gone sort of uh, where I haven't got the cotton bud straight so it's left sort of wiggly lines which wouldn't wouldn't be real right that's it I'm definitely going to stop there okay so I'm going to give this a little while to dry uh, matte varnish put the doors on take the marking off put the mirrors on and that'll be it. So back in a little while. Right, well, that's the doors on, mirrors on. The uh, the varnish is dried. So this is the final reveal, I suppose. Da, 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 da. Yeah, a few little bits and pieces I'd do differently next time. But overall, that's not bad. A little bit of dirt squirt got under my mask in there. That's all right. Don't mind that. I'll get a cotton bud in there and try and take it off in a minute. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. Wasn't sure how the colour was going to come out. Um, but yeah, it definitely looks like an RAF motor, doesn't it? Cool. Right, well, thanks again for watching. Sticking with it. Um, let's see what I'll come up with next time. Okay, all the best. See you later. Bye.